I think everyone needs the feeling that they can just come up for some air. Life can often feel like someone's literally drowning you and you feel like you're drowning and floundering, especially if you're in an extreme case of anxiety or stress or depression. And I feel like you just need to feel like you can just come up for a tiny bit of air. So for that, in the book, I talk about the three S model, which is your sights, sense, and sounds. What we see, what we hear and what we smell has a profound impact on our mental state and we actually underestimate our sense. And I'll give you an example. All of us have been walking around with masks and someone said this to me the other day and it hit me. They were saying to me that now that we all wear masks and do this the whole time, I think my mask over there, they were doing this all the time, they realized they couldn't hear people properly. And the reason they couldn't hear people properly is they realized they don't use their ears, they use their eyes to see people's lips. And so actually, they're not even using their ears that much, they're using their eyes to follow the lips and know what someone's saying. So actually, we depend so much on our eyes in every interaction. How many times have you been looking at someone attractive and you forgot what they were talking about? <laughs> right, you're just so engaged with your eyes that you completely even forgot to listen, right? Or you're so lost in, in the vision of something again and you're in a daze, you can't smell anything, you can't taste anything. So we've got to learn to reactivate our senses. So I'll give an example of what I mean. As monks, our life was sight designed, sound designed, and scent designed. What's the first thing you see when you wake up in the morning? For 80% of people, the first thing they see in the morning is their phone, and the last thing they see at night is their phone. That is poor sight design, because you don't even choose what the first message of the day your mind receives. That actually made my stomach drop. That, it's, that's a gnarly thought. It's true, yeah. right? Imagine the last thing someone sees is not their partner or their spouse, or the person they sleep with, they see their phone. And the first thing in the morning they look at is their phone. And guess what? It's not a good sight because you're looking at a message that you didn't design for your mind. You're looking at a picture or an image that maybe came through on your Instagram feed that you didn't choose for your mind. So now you've started your day with envy, jealousy, comparison, competition, collab, like all of, the, all of the monkey mind stuff and the monkey mind's excited, the monkey mind's on, the monkey mind's like, yeah, we're ready to go. And now you've started the day with the monkey mind. So my advice is start your day with a quote that you love. Start your day with a picture of someone that you love or your family. Start your day with a work of art that inspires you. Hmm. Start your day with seeing the first thing that you see. Make it so closely connected to your soul and your goal and your purpose that your monk mind naturally comes alive. So as monks, the first thing that we saw was sometimes a teaching that